Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to create adaptive quizzes in Moodle. And uh, the adaptive quiz report looks something like this. Okay, here you have your graph indicating your ability measure, which is the red line here, your standard error, your target level, and your question level. Okay, and on this grid here, you'll see that above the line, is all the correct answers and below the line are all the incorrect answers okay so a more detailed view of what the above is is where we have nine questions in total which the student attempted then we have the different question levels and then we have the correct or incorrect answer the ability measure and the standard error of stop okay so here you'll see on question level 2, the student attempted the question on level 2. He got that wrong and immediately he was bumped down to level 1. He got that correct and he was moved up again to level 2. And now you'll see from level 2 to level 1 and again to level 2. Okay. Here you can see the question level, the correct answers and the incorrect answers. On level 1, he had 1 attempt correct and 5 wrong. And on level 2, he had 0 correct and 3 incorrect or wrong. Okay. So, basically, we need to set up the questions and allow Moodle or the plugin to actually move the student up and down uh, between the levels of question to become aware of the ability measure of the student. So, let me show you how this is done in Moodle. First, we need to prepare our question bank. So yeah, I'm in my question bank. You'll see I have a category, a main category called fractions, and then subcategories uh, pertaining to the main category. First, we will create the different levels. Then we will move the questions within these subcategories to the different levels. Okay. So let's scroll down and create a new category. Make sure that it's in the correct subcategory. So we'll uh, attempt the adding first, the addition of uh, fractions first. So I'll click on that subcategory and I'll call this level one questions. So this will be my level one questions and I'll add that category. And immediately you'll see under adding, you'll see level one and there are currently zero questions. Again, scroll down. Make sure that you are on adding or addition. And we'll call this level 2. Add category. So there's my level 1, level 2. And again, I'll create one for level 3. So you can have any amount of levels you want uh, in your adaptive quizzes. I'll stick with three. So now let's start moving the questions over to uh, the different levels. Okay, so I'll click on addition or adding fractions and I'll add one, two, three, four, five. The first five questions I'll add to my level one just for this exercise and I'll move it to level one. Okay. So there's my level one question. It's five questions there in level one. Okay. So let's go back to adding. And I'll move the next five to level two. I'll move it there. So there's my level two. And I'll go to adding again. And I'll move my next five to level three. Okay, so now you'll see I have level one, five questions, level two, five questions, and level three, five questions. In total, 15 questions. Okay, so my next step is to actually tag these questions. Okay, so I'll click on the level and then click on edit and then manage tags and we'll call this tag okay adpq underscore and it's level one okay so i'll call that level one and i'll save it so immediately you'll see 
that I've tagged it as level 1. Okay. The next question I'll tag also ad pq underscore 1 because it's a level 1 question. And then for my third one, the same. It's ad pq underscore 1. And then for my final two, it's ATPQ underscore one. I'll save it. And then for my final one, it's ADPQ underscore one. Okay, so you can have any number uh, just um, at the back of uh, the underscore. Okay, but this ADPQ, which stands for adaptive quiz, that should be there. That's compulsory. Okay, so it's ADPQ underscore any number there because I'm on level one year. I've named this one and level two questions. I'll name it two and level three questions. I'll name it three. Okay, so let's do the tags for level for level two questions. Okay, so that will be ADPQ underscore two save manage tags and this will be adpq underscore two save manage tags adpq underscore two and save and also manage tags adpq underscore two and save and then the last one on my level two questions adpq underscore two and save okay so let's go to level three the same here we manage tags adpq underscore three save ADPQ underscore three save this one here manage tags ADPQ underscore three and save and then this one manage tags ADPQ underscore three and save changes and the last one ADPQ underscore three and save. Okay, so now I have all my questions tagged. So let's go back to my category. You'll see there are my levels and I know my questions were tagged. Okay. Okay, so the next step will be to go and download the plugin that we are going to use on our Moodle's plugin directory. So on Moodle.org Go to plugins and then type in adaptive quiz. Click search and here you'll see the first one is adaptive quiz. So you click on it, make sure you download the correct version. So it's 3.11, so I'll download that. I go to Site Administration, Plugins, Install Plugins, and then I'll drag that plugin to the Choose File option. I'll click on Install Plugin from Zipped File. I'll click on Continue on this screen. As you can see, my server environment meets all the minimum requirements, so it's okay to click on continue. It does a plugin check, so there's the plugin I want to install, and I'll click on upgrade Moodle database now. Okay, so that's success, it's installed correctly. Okay, so there's done. So let's go back to our course. And we were in our Mathematics for Homeschooling. 
under number patterns and sequences. I want to add the quizzes the, or the adaptive quiz here. Okay, so I'll turn editing on. I'll scroll down and I want to add it under topic 4. Okay, so I'll click on add an activity or a resource. I'll click on adaptive quiz, the plugin I've just installed. I'll give it a name, so I'll call it Adaptive Fraction Quiz. Okay, I'll scroll down and here it becomes tricky. So, attempts allowed, I'll only allow one attempt. I can provide a password or for a security question. Okay, so here you'll see the different levels I've created. Okay, so I've created level 1, level 2 and level 3. So you have to select the different levels. So my question pool is basically level 1, which is 5 questions, level 2, 5 questions, level 3, 5 questions. So this is my question pool. Okay, then it asks me for the starting level of difficulty. Okay, and that will be level 1. The lowest level of difficulty that will also be level one and the highest level of difficulty will be level three okay i can provide feedback uh, when they submit the quiz but i'll leave that blank for now show ability measures to students yes i want to show it to students now for the stop condition you'll remember on the report it says there's um, ability measure um, and stop error and this stop conditions and this is all pertaining to uh, the report okay so the first one is the minimum number of questions usually I leave this on one so that's the minimum number of questions the learner should attempt okay the maximum number of questions as you can see here it's 15 okay and now it asks me for the standard error to stop. Okay, so the standard error to stop. This is basically when uh, the test should stop. Uh, now there are four conditions. Okay, so the one is uh, when there remains no more easier questions. Let's say on level one, the questions are exhausted. Okay, there are no more remaining uh, harder questions. So the system can't bump uh, the student up. To a, another level or level three so because all the questions were exhausted on level three or the standard error in the measure has become precise enough to stop and the last one is the maximum number of questions has been exceeded okay so that's the stopping error okay so for this since we have 15 questions okay so we'll use about 11 or 9 9.0 let's make this nine point zero three percent as the error of stop okay and i'll provide you with a detailed explanation um, in the description a link to where you can see how to set the standard error to stop okay so the grade i'll leave as is everything as is and activity completion show activity as complete and the student must receive a grade okay i'll click on save and display Okay, so there's my quiz is set up and I can start an attempt. Let's start the attempt and now it asks me for the question and I can select the question, submit the answer, again sub select and submit, select and submit. So it works basically like a normal quiz, submit, submit where the student have to select an answer but you can have different question types mine is just for the sake of this exercise multiple choice questions okay so they stopped okay you finished the attempt thank you for taking the quiz it says here estimate ability 1.2 let's click on continue okay so now i can click on view report it says here i had one attempt I'll click on the one 
and now it says here that the sum of the questions attempted were eight okay let's click on review attempt once i click on review attempt you'll see this breakdown and immediately you'll see my ability measure as well as on my grid here all the incorrect questions on level one I have five incorrect questions. On level two, I have one question incorrect. On level three, I had one question incorrect. On level two, I had one question correct. Okay. And when I click on scoring table, you'll see here a breakdown on, I started on level one and I got it wrong. Again on level one, wrong. Again on level one, wrong. Again on level one, wrong. One wrong. And then my level one questions, remember there's only five. So I exhausted that five questions. It moved me automatically up to level two. I got that right or correct. It bumped me up to level three. I got that incorrect and it bumped me down to level two. And I got that incorrect. And here you will have a more detailed breakdown of question level, the correct answers and the incorrect answers. If I scroll down, I can exactly see they're incorrect. I'm on level one here. Scroll down again, level one. I stayed on level one, stayed on level one, stayed on level one, again on level one. Then my questions were exhausted on level one. I bumped up to level two. I got this correct. It shifted me up to level three, but I got it incorrect and it shifted me down again to level two. And this is how easy it is to create adaptive courses in Moodle. You need to remember to tag your questions, have different levels in your questions, and make sure that your ability uh, measure or your stop error is the correct percentage. If you go back, you can also click on question analysis, and it will provide you with an, a question analysis of the question level, the time used to answer that question, whether it was incorrect or correct, and the discrimination. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.